Frames can be inserted into assemblies as a part after the structure is defined in the part studio. Let's take a look at best practices when using frames within top level assemblies. After using the cut list feature in a part studio, the individual segments of the frame are combined to an open composite part. This makes it easy for Onshape to count the individual needed segments in the frame structure for the cut list and insert the entire frame into an assembly as a single part. The open composite part allows the flexibility to reference the individual segments if needed as well. This is more common to do when creating drawings. We will look at that aspect in the next video on frame drawings. In an assembly, select the insert parts and assemblies icon. Change the filter settings in the insert dialog to composite part. This ensures the frame structure is inserted as a single part instead of the individual segments. Select the composite part to insert and mate to other assembly instances as required. Notice in the bill of materials, the entire frame is listed in one row as one part. If we did not activate the composite part filter in the insert dialog and instead inserted the parts of the part studio, notice the difference in the instance list and bill of materials. Each segment is listed as a unique part, whether it is or is not. This workflow is typically not a good practice since it does not count segments that are not unique in the frame structure. Be sure when inserting frames into an assembly insert the composite part. 